Our special live covered from the Broadway market continues right now at 4.30. Many of you head there every year to get some special items for your Easter meals, from pierogies to butter lambs. Everyone has a favorite treat. News 4's Christy Kern is live at the Broadway market on Buffalo's east side to show us those traditions. Christy? Callan, there are so many traditions. Everybody comes here for something different, and there are so many options here. Just where we're standing right here, there is a pierogi stand right next to us, pierogi by Paula, and also right behind us is the famous horseradish stand. Now, we took a look at the most popular foods at the Broadway market, the tradition behind them, and why they are so unique. One of the most popular food stops at the Broadway market is the famous horseradish. They make everything from homemade horseradish, cocktail sauce, and more. And owner Wanda Scup shows us how it's done. See, we wash this roots first and peel it, like, you know, peel it, and grate it over here because we have machine over here, and mix with vinegar. Their family has owned the business for the past 30 years, and their secret is keeping it simple. We don't put sugar, we don't put salt, no spices, and only salt. Horseradish and vinegar. People try it from all over. Some familiar with the spicy taste. Others trying it for the first time. They love the to try. That's why we keep it, keeping it all the time for tasting. 7:50. Anything else for you? On the other side of the market, we found a crowd of people outside Camellia Meats. The smoked Polish, fresh Polish, uh, the kvassa, the um, hams that we make. We're uh, one of the only companies in Buffalo that makes a smoked holiday ham. The meats are the biggest draw, but they also sell iconic butter lamps and even have festive employees. Adam Saihaki says his family has owned it since 1935. They moved to the Broadway market about 10 years ago, and this time of year is by far their busiest. Sometimes people can wait up to like a half an hour on Friday for their number to be called. And we can't forget the pierogi, one of the most popular stops. We got a behind the scenes look as employees at Bobsha's Pierogi got sheets of pierogi ready to go. Our pierogi machine can produce up to 2,000 pierogi an hour. Owner Linda Lund tells us they just became a permanent vendor at the market. They're not just selling them here, they're also making them. We make everything from scratch. Our fillings, our dough is all homemade, all from scratch. They're delicious. That's all I can say. And there's so many different varieties that she makes. Marlene Muscarella is right. They make 18 flavors of pierogi, from traditional to signatures like buffalo wing, beef on weck, and bacon cheeseburger. It's the skill behind them that keep customers coming back. Some places they make them real big, and but there's not that much filling. Hers, she makes them smaller, and but they're thicker. And we were not lying when we told you we were next to a pierogi stand just before we went into that story. Uh, we're next to pierogi by Paula. You can see just how good, buttery, delicious it looks. And uh, this is Ryan Doogie. His family owns the business. Ryan, tell us, you know, how's it been so far today? Today has just been bananas. <laughs> um, there was people waiting when we got here today at 5.30 this morning. Now, this looks pretty good to me. Tell me what's so unique about it. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of pierogies here, so what makes yours so unique? Well, I can't tell you how we make the dough. That's a family yeah. secret. Of course. But, I yes, um, our dough, unlike some of our competitors, is very thin, and uh, we only use wholesome ingredients, no preservatives. So overall here, I mean, it looks delicious. Um, overall, positive vibes here today. It seems like everybody's really excited and, and happy to be here. Oh, absolutely. I mean, there's a little bit of impatience, you know, because there's so many people, and it's hard to tell where the line starts and where it ends. But for the most part, it's been a pretty successful day. All right, Ryan, thank you so much. Now, we know that another popular tradition here at the Broadway Market, especially at Easter time, is the butter lambs. The News 4's Kaylee Wentz looked into the tradition and the meaning behind that, and she found out that it's much more than butter. You may have seen these little friends in the refrigerator section of the grocery store. It's the butter lamb, made famous years ago in the Queen City by a woman named Dorothy. She started the butter lambs and created them, and they, they've been a, a staple in Buffalo. So much so that people at the Broadway market waited in line to get their hands on one. Some may get it to carry on tradition, but others value the meaning behind it. It's the sacrifice of the Lamb of God in the Eucharist. So it has a red ribbon, which signifies the blood of Christ, a Alleluia flag on its back that signifies Alleluia, peace on earth, and peppercorn eyes, which signify God's lighting the world. Some of the lambs in the cooler had different color ribbons. 
Violet, Dorothy's favorite. And the lamb's meaning doesn't stop with butter. Lamb cakes can be found at the market, too. Ours is a yellow pound cake, and then it's wrapped, or we coat it with um, coconut, so that you can, most people enjoy that. And then it's got the red brace on it, and it's got the uh, red flag on it as well. These cakes are had for dessert after Easter dinner, and they're also used to have a little bit of fun. Each year, we decide to take a different chunk of the lamb cake to see what we enjoy most. You either take it right out of the middle, or you take the head off and enjoy. It's just a great conversation piece and something everybody at the table enjoys. Missouri's bakery makes about 200 cakes a year but not without some casualties. We have some casualties every year. You either lose the neck or you lose the ears. Ears are a very common issue that we have. And if the pros have issues, you can imagine the challenges the everyday baker may have. My family, for example, has had some losses of their own. The lamb is an important part of Easter tradition. Whether it's in the form of butter or cake, you can find it all this time of year. In Buffalo, Kaylee Went, News 4. Moral of the story there, be careful with those lamb cakes. And if you do mess them up, send us some pictures to News 4 because those would be pretty fun to see. Now, I also talked to a lot of people here who told me that the butter lamb is a big part of the tradition with their family every Easter. They say Easter just wouldn't be the same without it. Now, all of us who are Polish know that Easter, uh, the, the fun does not stop here. The Polish fun does not stop here at Easter or for Good Friday. So coming up in just a few minutes on News 4 4, we will be looking ahead to Dingus Day and all the fun I had with cats. Callum will have that in just a couple of minutes. All right, thanks, Christy. A lot of people excited about Dingus Day. We're looking forward to your report. We'll talk to Christy again in just a few minutes.